Hello and welcome back to another gallery tour brought to you by theartfreak.com. My name's Katie and I'll be the host of this video today. If you're interested in keeping up to date with our gallery tours, make sure you subscribe to our channel to never miss an upload. Today's gallery visit focuses on the Victoria Miro Gallery, a British contemporary art gallery located in Islington. It's easily accessible with Old Street Station only a 10 minute walk away. Victoria Miro shows the work of established and emerging artists from the USA, Europe and Asia. The exhibition showing at the moment is the story of art as it's still being written. It's an exhibition based on the final chapter of Katie Hassel's book, The Story of Art Without Men. This book charts the last 500 years of art history, spanning from the Renaissance to the present day, and attempts to overthrow the canon as we know it. Instead of viewing women as the wife of, the muse of, the daughter of, or the sister of, the story of art without men places women firmly at the centre of the story. It roots them in their social and political context and the time in which they lived. It's refreshing to see an exhibition that not only includes women, but places them at the forefront, highlighting their importance and contribution to the creative space throughout history. Everyone should try and see this exhibition before it ends on the 1st of October. So what is your interpretation of this painting? Um, so when I look at this painting, um, I kind of get reminded of sort of classical paintings, um, of Greek and um, Roman um, myths and legends. So I see a sort of landscape um, and animals uh, and maybe like, people or gods um, that we know from myths and legends. Um, and I think for me there's a sort of aggression we can see in this painting. Um, it's really shown by kind of this harsher like brush strokes um, and the like, shapes that are kind of portrayed in, in the abstracts. Um, I also think like even just through some of the shapes here you kind of get the impression of like I don't know maybe a dog or like some sort of animals um, and like birds in the sky and people so I almost get the impression of yeah some sort of like battle um, but kind of stripped back in a way so that it's made more abstract. Um, and then yeah, this landscape, I kind of see a river, um, mountains, forest. Um, I think it's really interesting how that has been taken, a sort of classical idea has been made much more abstract and kind of stripped back into its like bare bones um, and left in a way that is more open to interpretation. So like, that's kind of my immediate thought. Like, well, that was the first thing I thought when I looked at it and the more I've looked at it, that's kind of the angle that I've gone down. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so I really like these two uh, paintings. I think they initially caught my eye. They're quite a lot smaller than the other pieces um, in the gallery. Um, so they're easy to miss. Uh, but I think they're both really beautiful. Um, and yeah, so they both kind of portray black women doing kind of simple things. Um, and I think initially it would be quite easy to like sexualize them um, because they're both kind of bare breasted. But I think if you look closer, you can see that actually they're both very comfortable and uh, there's something quite serene about both of them. I think as well, if you compare them, they're both quite different. I think that's what I quite like about them. So I think like on this side, there's something very like, peaceful about her. Um, and I think she's got a sort of, there's a quality to her. Um, the way I was describing it earlier was like, with her eyes closed, her hand on her chest, the way she's kind of like almost about to breathe a sigh of like relief. She's got her parents around her. Everything kind of suggests like this, yeah, serenity, this like calmness, um, and yeah, like a sense of real ease. Um, and I think if you then compare that to over here, um, you've got this woman who's like playing this game. She's in this position. She's got her shoulders kind of squared up. Her like eyes are kind of her lids are hooded, and she kind of looks a bit ready for attack. 
but not in an aggressive way, in a controlled way. Um, I almost likened it to like a cat on the prowl. Um, and I think what's nice about working with women is that whatever position they're in, like they are completely in control and they're in, they're the ones who are like have the power of the room that they're in, of the position that they find themselves in. Um, and there's something quite nice of seeing like, women who are, you know, potentially in a vulnerable position, kind of exposed, but who are in control of their environment and of themselves. Um, there's nothing kind of performative about their actions and about what they're doing. Um, and so, in a situation, of, yeah, an image where they could potentially be kind of sexualized or used in a way that could be yeah, objectified, I think the power dynamic has actually been shifted and you get to see them in like a completely different light. Um, so I think, yeah, that's truly really beautiful. My name is Katie and this gallery tour was brought to you by theartfreak.com. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and see you for the next tour.